Goodwill brings to you the share market update dated, the 24th of February 2023. For the development in the corporate segment, we have. Shares of Barat Electronics Limited gained 2% on March 24 reacting to the company's new order win. The Ministry of Defense has signed two contracts worth of 3,800 rupees crore with Barat Electronics Limited, DPSU for supply of medium power radar and digital radar warning receiver for Indian Air Force. The first contract worth over 2,800 rupees crore pertains to the supply of medium power radars Arudra, and the second, at an overall cost of around 950 rupees crore, relates to 129 DR 118 radar warning receivers. The board of directors of Amomi Limited is going to consider an approved buyback of shares today. The company informed Indian bosses in its exchange communication that company board is going to consider the proposal for buyback of shares in its meeting scheduled on 24 March 2023. The company board is expected to announce buyback price and record date for buyback in its scheduled meeting today. A mommy is one of the dividends paying stock on Dadle Street as well. The multibational conglomerate company headquartered in Kolkata has declared interim dividend twice in the financial year. 2022-23. Farmer Major Lupin on Thursday announced that it has received tentative approval from the United States Food and Drug Administration, for its abbreviated new drug application, obeticolic acid tablets, 5 mg and 10 mg. Obeticolic acid tablets are used to treat primary biliary cholangitis. IDFC shareholding in IDFC First Bank increases to 39.99%. IDFC FHCL, a subsidiary of IDFC, has received 37.75 crore equity shares of IDFC First Bank on payment of the application money of 2,196.30 rupees crore to IDFC First Bank. With this investment, IDFC's holding, through IDFC FHCL, in IDFC First Bank will go up to 39.99%. In February 2023, the board of IDFC, an IDFC FHCL had approved subscribing to 37.75 crore shares of IDFC First Bank on a preferential basis at a price of 58.18 rupees per equity share, through subsidiary IDFC FHCL. Tata Steel has acquired the balance of 1.35 crore equity shares of Tata Steel Advanced Materials from Tata Steel Downstream, products at 12.81 rupees per share, amounting to 17.33 rupees crore. After this transaction, Tata Steel Advanced Materials has become a direct wholly owned subsidiary of Tata Steel. Prior to the transaction, Tata Steel directly held a 75.94% stake in Tata Steel Advanced Materials, and the rest 24.06% was held by Tata Steel Downstream Products. Burnpoo Cement Limited in daily timeframe is trading around 5.6 points with a change of 19.15% and is trading with a net volume of around 2.5 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 4.35, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 70.63. An RSI of above 50 may indicate that the stock is in overbought region. TTK Healthcare Limited in daily timeframe is trading at 1,020 points with a change of 13% and is trading with a net volume of around 105,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 889.2. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 71.93. ITI Limited in daily timeframe is trading at 94.6 points with a change of 7.59%, and is trading with a net volume of around 3.25 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 90.05. While shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 51.7 which is above RSI benchmark indicating that the stock is around overbought region. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.